Throughout America today, our agricultural land is truly a garden. Orchards, lush with fruit. Fields and farmlands, rich with the goodness of things to eat. A legacy for us to treasure, to build on. And we have built on it. We've made more progress in the last three quarters of a century than did worldwide agriculture in its previous 7,000 years. Imagine, it's all happened within a single lifetime. And just look at it. Enough to make your mouth water, isn't it? Food, USA, horn of plenty. wonderful world of food. Food coming to us from all parts of the country, to our very backyard. Wholesome food, quality food, food at reasonable prices, and food in quantity. Yes, lots of it. The advances of technology in agriculture have been so effective that now we can mass produce crops to feed our expanding population. And in this dynamic age of ours, no longer are the things we eat limited by season or by geography. hardly matters where we are. Our tables are well bestowed with the products of a big, wide country. American agriculture is many things. It is the fields of corn with their deep soils. Agriculture is the sun-drenched valleys of the salad bowl. But no matter where it may be, each field is different. Every farm and farmer, every orchard, all different. All producing something else in their own distinctive way. Still, we've been able to cope with the many profiles of our land. We've invented new practices, new techniques, new devices. We have the latest in harvesting equipment. work with up-to-date packaging methods. The modern farmer and his bounty, his Garden of Eden. Ah, but is it? No, there's trouble in paradise. Trouble in many forms. A beautiful blossom, innocent, but really a deadly weed, a strangler, a killer, well-named. Which weed? And it is but one of 600 or so weeds competing with our growing crops. Then there's the nematode, visible only under the scrutiny of a microscope.
it pierces the roots of our food plants and sucks their juices, potatoes, strawberries, many of the things we like to eat so much. No use squeezing these melons, nematodes have beat us to it. Consider blight. In one year, this lethal fungus destroyed nearly half of our tomato crops along the Atlantic seaboard. But it is just one of at least 1,500 plant diseases that worry our agriculture. Take this hungry pest. This snail with no shell, the slug, destructive feeder of our leafy green vegetables. And consider insects. They are, without question, the most troublesome of our public enemies. The costliest. Several hundred kinds with their voracious appetites are especially destructive. Yes, these are our competitors. Who can compute their number? A number which skyrockets with every breath we take. And if we allow them to get out of control, an infestation can turn into a plague. Man has always been so hounded by his natural enemies. But science has come through with important weapons. The development of plants that fight pests. Better methods of growing crops. Pest killers like insecticides and herbicides. The use of chemicals dates back to the ancient days of brimstone and common salt. But today, of course, our controls are more sophisticated and they are under strict federal surveillance. For instance, all pesticides must be registered with the United States Department of Agriculture. This is required by law. The data which a pesticide manufacturer submits are carefully evaluated by specialists. Will the pesticide do the job? Is it safe for the user when directions are faithfully followed? What about crop residue? Here's where the Food and Drug Administration enters the scene. Residues are allowed only in specified amounts, safe ones. This is called legal tolerance. In establishing legal tolerance, the administration uses at least a 100-fold factor of safety. 100-fold. When a pesticide is found to be safe as well as useful, a residue tolerance is set, and labeling is accepted for registration. Full directions for the consumer must be spelled out on the label. If a warning is necessary, it must be conspicuous. The health of one and all is of utmost consideration. When it is followed to the letter, the label protects everyone's health. The fast-moving development of the modern pesticide since the middle 40s is one reason why American agriculture has been able to make such spectacular advances. Let's go back to weeds for a minute. When crops are in competition with weeds, quality suffers. Yields are considerably reduced. That's where the herbicide comes in. Without the chemical weed killer, some of our favorite items might easily be priced right out of the food market. Thus, we are constantly trying to tip the scales in our favor. And chemicals are not our only weapon. 
we have predatory insects. Scientists of the Department of Agriculture continue to search the world for such predators, friendly insects which instinctively prey upon harmful ones, those that do damage to our crops and our livestock. Now here is a case of natural luck, and agriculture scientists have taken advantage of it. The screw worm fly, parasite of livestock. The female we discovered mates only once in her life. So, we proceeded to raise flies, sterilize them, and release them over a fly-infested area. Since each mating is ineffectual, the population of screwworm flies spirals down to zero. A unique achievement in man's effort to live with nature. Researchers in agriculture continue to explore and develop new techniques for keeping other pests in check, such as those that eventually grow resistant to insecticides. We are seeking ways to break down this barrier of immunity through new chemicals or by unlocking other secrets of nature. And so research is always at work, at work to protect our food our plenty, our people. At work to keep our abundance from slipping through our fingers. to keep it flowing in quantity from farm to consumer and still remain the bargain that it is. Nowadays, we pay out less of our workaday dollar for food than we ever have before. That dollar buys us selection. It buys us quality, built-in maid service, convenience, and it buys us safety and assurance for our dinner table. American agriculture is a world leader. Food, USA, good, plentiful, and safe. <laughs>